Well, hello, good morning, and let's see. I'm fascinated with this thing about happiness. I'm fascinated with this idea that uh, people think that if they're not happy all the time, that there's something wrong. And, um, you know, I've been chasing happiness in the same way I've been chasing how to get my glasses straight for very, a long time now. <laughs> I think I might actually be more successful chasing the happiness than I am um, getting the glasses straight. But anyway, back to the subject. So happiness, it's like, uh, who doesn't want to be happy? Who doesn't want to really like enjoy life and like really be ecstatic? And but this idea that's oftentimes promoted by pictures on social media that it's possible to be happy like that all the time is a bit of an illusion. And the thing is, is that there's a lot of, you know, there's a whole bunch of different words that I could use to describe feelings, right? Like on the darker side, there's like depression, anxiety, stress, negativity, sadness. Uh, you know, I could go on and on, frustration, anger. And then on the light side, there's like joy, contentment, happiness, peace, yada, yada, yada. And I do believe that those things are like stages or levels. And I also believe that you could be going back and forth through the stages and levels. But they also, like, if you exist or end up existing or think you're supposed to exist completely here, or like you've bought into this idea that you're like sad and depressed all the time, or you've bought it into this idea that you're supposed to be happy all the time, you're not living fully and you're immersing yourself into a state of being which is not complete, right? So there'll always be a sense of loss. There'll always be a sense of yearning. There'll always be a longing as opposed to this idea that what if you are complete and what if in fact what's happening to you is completely holistic and pure and natural and building your capacity for happiness? Like what if, for example, the periods that you went through where you were feeling darker and a little bit lacking and sad were part of building you up to learn how to enjoy being happy? Because if you've ever been really sad or negative or dark or depressed for any period of time, which I have, most people who are healthy and deeply spiritual have, you know that this too shall pass. And you know that part of what makes you gravitate towards wanting to hold on to whatever peace and happiness you have today comes from having known and been through that dark past, right? Nobody's life that's full and complete, that's uh, uh, building up towards greater happiness has not experienced some, some form of that low. You know, so when I speak about happiness, I'm not exclusively looking for happiness all the time, like where I'm ecstatic. But I want contentment. I want serenity. What does that mean? What that means is because I've acknowledged my sadness. I've been with my dark side. I feel my feelings that when happiness comes along, I like it, but I don't think it's here forever. I appreciate it. It's a momentary thing. I try to live in the day. But um, I also know that like sometimes I can feel content, but there's sadness underneath. You know, sometimes I can feel sad and there's gratitude and joy underneath. You know, and also what I'm trying to say is that these, these polarities, in, as far as I'm concerned, as I'm developing spiritually and I want a better life, um, those polarities need to come together a little bit more. You know, they need to coexist um, because I don't want to live in this illusion that I, I'm, I, I'm depressed or super happy all the time. I mean, that's not living to me. That's being stuck. And, um, and I, I think that the bigger challenge for me is that uh, uh, how to understand that I can actually be happy, feel happy, want happiness, and be moving through my day thinking I'm fairly content, and all of a sudden just be overwhelmed with this wave of sadness. It's fascinating to me, you know, but the thing is, is when that wave of sadness comes, I allow it to bubble up into my throat and into my eyes and into my experience, and I feel it. And I don't go like, oh, what am I sad? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? No, there's nothing wrong with me. I mean, there's a lot wrong with me, but that's another, <laughs> that's a, that's about a series of like 10 other Facebook lives, the, the, the topic of what's wrong with Nicole. Um, but effectively, you know, there's nothing wrong with my emotions. There's nothing that needs to be controlled, managed, or fixed. There's nothing that I need to like rush out of because it doesn't feel good and because I don't understand it. Or, you know, quite frankly, because I'm afraid of it. 
Now, this is the thing. Like, I, I, I don't think that I was taught in a healthy way how to confront my emotions and accept them and be with them. And that's what I'm trying to do today. That's what I'm trying to help other people do, right? Because if you're a driven person, part of your drive, whether it's intellectual, it's about your job, it's for money, is, is, is trying to get away from yourself. Trying to get away from that like deeply tuned in, empathic, emotional, uh, spiritual self, uh, you know, that the depth of who you are when you're just being. Because you see, if I spend my whole life doing, I don't have to be. But if I'm not being, I'm really missing out on like the best of what I got, both to give to myself, to anybody who comes into my life, and to any of you people who are interested in my coaching. So uh, yeah, if you want to comment about what happiness looks like for you, you know, are you happy today? If you're not happy, what's at the root of that? Um, do you think happiness and sadness can coexist? And if not, why not? Please feel free to comment, message me if you want to have a private conversation or email me at Nicole at NicoleDevlin.com. Thanks for spending time with me today. I hope you have a great Friday.